everybody! Happy Friday! It's Rebecca Packard. We're coming together to hold intention for peace, to sit for four minutes in meditation for peace, and to reset, regroup, reground, and redirect our thoughts. We do this every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We've been doing this for over a year and a half now, taking this time out to set an intention for peace, to shift ourselves, and to shift the collective consciousness. If this is your first time joining us, we welcome you and you, we thank you for tuning in. If you are a regular, we are so grateful for you. We are so grateful for your dedication to this. And if you're catching us on the replay, we love you still because energy is an amazing thing and like energy connects with like energy. So we're going to take a few minutes. We're going to hold intention for peace. We ask that you go to the meditation practice that is is what you're comfortable with, the one that resonates with you. We ask that you sit, get grounded, and our focus will be for peace. We will all hold the same intention during this meditation for peace, and that way we will all connect energetically. Here we go, and then we'll chat. Fantastic. I am so glad that you were able to come together with us and set intention and hold peace with us. It's a crazy day here. We've got new moon energy that is packed with healing and stirring things up. And I don't know if you have little kids, but this moon is surely stirring things up. My guys have been wonky for the last 24 hours and I know that tomorrow night will be the pivotal night 
because that moon and all of its energy will take place. If you don't know anything about it, Google it. It's going to be intense and it's going to be even more intense because it's happening on St. Patrick's Day, which in its own right has a lot of energy connected to it. A lot of high vibrational energy, but confused energy too because people overindulge on that day, which whatever to each their own. But, at the same time, I appreciate all of you that are taking this time to come together to set the intention to show up every day in meditation, to practice self-care, self-resiliency, and self-dedicated practices that help you to be a better person each day. To be better today than you were yesterday, right? Our goal in life should always be that. Our goal in life should always be to be a little bit better tomorrow than we are today, and always be better today than we were yesterday. Yesterday. And <laughs> he's like, do I come over? Do I not come over? Clearly he has the message. But um, each day we find this practice. We live stream Tuesday through Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're holding intention on our own, setting that intention on our own, but we are still connecting in the ethers and connecting with the collective consciousness because like energy attracts like energy, and we are sending out our ripple, our stone on the lake, to create a ripple of change within our vibrational energy, within our homes, our communities, our states, our countries, and the world. And so I am honored to have you here. If you haven't come over to Rebecca Packard Live free, please do see the bigger picture of why we're utilizing this meditation practice to utilize self-care so that we can have resiliency when it comes out to us being out in the world, out in public, out at work, in our homes with our tiny humans who need us to be on our game all the time and to be filling ourselves with um, peace and joy and compassion and all the things that we really need so that we can be the best us in showing up fully us every day. I am so excited for so many of you that have been utilizing this practice along with me since day one. The amazing stories that I hear from each of you and how this has shifted you, how this has changed the way that you view things and the way that you're showing up for yourself has been incredible. And those of you that are just starting, it's amazing to hear from you and how you've really have recognized the days where you miss a meditation and you're like, I missed it, I totally recognize the afternoon was not as delightful as it could have been. And so I just want to honor each and every one of you. Thank you for joining us. We will see you on Tuesday, but we will feel you in meditation. And if you are in um, New Hampshire, we are going to be having a Live Happy Wall at Pinkerton Academy tonight for, um, there's a fundraiser taking place for homeless students to raise money for homeless students because yes, you guys, that is a thing. And we are also taking that time to utilize Live Happy to take and bring awareness to the fact that there are mentors out there for not only these children, but there are spaces where adults can become mentors and really pour into children who need us. We need to come together as the community. We need to come together as a whole, and we need to be shedding our lights. I loved the story from Texas where um, that uh, the teacher, the principal, put out a tweet and 600 men showed up, right? And what our goal is to make it so that every day children do not go without mentors, that our children who are our future do not go unseen, do not go unloved, do not go invisible, and have the tools that they need to be centered, to be grounded, to be focused, and to grow so they can flourish, so they can touch lives. And so... Um, if you know anything about Live Happy, you know that their happiness movement that is global, International Day of Happiness, is on March 20th. I will be hosting a wall here in my home that night. I'm hosting the wall out at an event this evening. And there will be 500 walls hosted this year, which is amazing because for the last two years I've been participating in this and it's a five-year journey so far. And each year we have more and more walls around the world and all it is is to help 
people to come together in community and lift each other up and see the good in everyone, right? Because there is good in everyone. And so let's take that time. If you are not familiar, go to livehappy.org or livehappy.com. We're going to be giving away some amazing things over the next few days. The website is always keyed up to be giving away things during this time. And there are massive sales taking places. They are giving away digital copies for a subscription so you can see the magazine and every time that somebody shares a happy act we call these happy acts I bought a coffee for someone I held a door for somebody one dollar is going to be donated to your local big brothers and big sisters so we're going to be sharing a link where you can go in and you can share your happy act and you can share that and your community will benefit because even though my community in my town doesn't have its own personal big brothers and big sisters we have a big brothers and big sisters chapter for the whole area for our county and every time that somebody um, shares one of their happy acts one dollar will go to benefit those children it takes a thousand dollars to get a child to sponsor through big brothers and big sisters live happy is also uh, a foundation that is donating it for everyone who purchases a subscription to live happy they also give a subscription to a wounded warrior through the wounded warrior foundation it is an amazing amazing corporation giving back in such a huge huge way with just the biggest heart possible and they also participate in world vision so there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of people and lives being touched and i just hope that you are able to um get a little bit more information and really take that to account and see how it's touching your community. See how it's showing up. Maybe you're somewhere else in the world and this weekend you'll see a happiness wall and you'll go, oh my gosh, she was talking about that in meditation. You know, so I'll be done chatting and have a wonderful Friday and I will see you all on Tuesday. Bye.